I'm at a dog adoption right now, and I think I'm at the one. Are you coming home with me? Oh, Luna's gonna go for it. It's her new best friend. I'm so ready. And then that leather. Is that your mommy? That's mommy. Oh my god, Luna's walking out with her first dog. I'm about to spoil you. Yes, you're gonna get everything from me. You bought a dog bed last week already? Oh my god, you are, you're ready. Guys, what did I just do? What did I just do? Baby, I'm your new mommy. Are you my new baby? Are you my first baby ever? It's time to go tell my mom I'm home. You're home. Are you ready to meet mommy number two? Grandma. Oh my god, she's grandma now. Let's see what her reaction is. <laughs> Come here, come to your grandma. Come to grandma. Come to Grammy. Wait, what's your name? Lucky or Pepper? Lucky. Lucky, right? Did you get my text? Yeah. This is the lucky. <laughs> this is the real lucky. Who would have known? <laughs> my precious angel. Look, he's already wagging his tail. He's so wait, excited. Wait. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my first baby son. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's so active. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Lucky. Hey, Lucky. Lucky. <sighs> hey, Lucky. Guys, let's talk about Lucky. Oh, baby. He's my best friend now. Let's talk about this new child. Basically, a little backstory. Have been wanting a dog forever. Um, but in our apartment that we lived in. We couldn't have dogs um, in our lease. We couldn't have dogs and we just moved to this new house um, Me and my mom have been buying dog stuff for about like a year now We have a crate that we bought like we didn't even have a dog. I bought a dog bed the other day Like I didn't even have a dog at this point. I didn't think I was gonna have a dog anytime soon We knew eventually we were gonna get one so basically I was looking online forever And I always told myself I was like my dream dog is a Maltese Little like dog, little white dog, or a uh, King Charles Cavalier. So that was my all time favorite dog, but those kind of dogs are not able to be adopted. They're, it would be one in a million to find one of those dogs that aren't a mutt for adoption. It was never gonna happen. Looking into breeders and shopping, like to buy a $3,000 dog, and I felt so guilty every time I even thought about it. Like, I would look on adoption things every single day. I signed up for notifications, but like, obviously, that kind of dog would never come up. And I would look, I would look at breeders online and look at like where I could go and stuff to buy a dog for $3,000 and I always told myself I will never shop. I will always adopt, always, because there's so many dogs out there that need homes. But I was looking at these pages and I felt so guilty about it, um, but I really wanted those dogs, like I really did. Ethically, nobody should be buying from breeders anymore. It's ridiculous. It's so terrible, especially where they're breeded. A lot of them come from puppy mills. It's just really unethical. There's so many dogs out there that need to be adopted and... Wait a second. Oh my god! It's your new son. That is not my child. The little boss. He's perfect. His name is Lucky. Lucky Montana. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're talking about his story. So yeah, I was looking at all these dogs for sale and that's terrible and I felt so guilty every time I looked. I went to an adoption thing with Kai to get his new dog. We got her a couple months ago and sure. I fell in love with this dog. It's a terrier mix um, and just she was so smart and so cute and like you can just tell that adopted like mutts are so much smarter than like the inbred breeded dogs which it was just like so sweet to me to see the process of adopting Lilo and just like everything about it was so cute and I was like you know what I'm never gonna shop never never I'm only gonna adopt so I just kept looking on adoption things I looked on pet finder all the time and then last night I was alone and I was alone and I was online looking on pet finder and they just had a new listing for this new litter of puppies and this puppy his name is Sego S-E-G-O was his original name. He was on there eight weeks. He's a terrier mix. They told me to apply if I wanted to see if the dog was still available. So I applied for the dog and I did a whole thing. thing I did last night, like just no one knew about it. I saw that the organization that had him called Dogs Without Borders was having a adoption thing today at a place called Tailwaggers in Hollywood. So 
I went to breakfast with my sister and dad in Studio City and then I was like, you know what, we're 10 minutes away, Zoe, you wanna go with me? Like, I don't even, I didn't even know the dog was gonna be there, to be honest, I didn't know this dog was gonna be there. And then I go, there were two dogs left of this litter and Sego was there waiting for me. So sweet and was kissing me and it was like active. You wanna know the dog's active. They had my application, so they looked at it, asked me questions and here we are. So we decided on a name. His name is Lucky Montana. It's the name I was supposed to be named when I was little, but it's okay, you're still my number one baby. Woo! My two boys. I thought I would do a first time doggy haul because I would have loved to watch this before I went and got Mr. Lucky over here. The collar I got him is this super cute little black bedazzled glittery one. The first thing I picked up is this stain and odor eliminator because we already know that he's gonna have some accidents and that's okay. But we just wanna be prepared since we have an all white room, yeah? And then obviously, so important, we got some wee wee pads because I wanted to get him a little chew toy. I got this little pink one. He's gonna have some pink because he has me as an owner, so. And then I got your standard little dog bowls. I got a pink leash, but I think I'm gonna return it. I think that this would be too heavy. Then I learned so much from being there about the raw diet and how that's so much better for dogs and um, so much healthier than regular kibble. So what I got is this brand, The Honest Kitchen, and it's basically kibble, but it's soft, so it dissolves in water. Overall, I heard so many good things about the raw diet. Um, as for a crate, I have one that I got. It's just a standard crate. Obviously, I have this dog bed back here, which hopefully he'll end up sleeping in one day. Yes, you're my angel, and you're the cutest, and I know, I know you're the cutest. I know tonight is gonna be a little bit rough because he's not allowed to pee in my bed and sleep in my bed yet. I also got these treats. They are from the brand Nulo, and they're turkey treats. That is my doggy haul for now. I'm gonna go get him a sling at the store that I can wear um, and then we should be good. This is my child. Lucky. Bye friends. He loves it. Okay guys, I thought I would do a little puppy update a couple days later um, in this video because um, I didn't want to show all the glorious moments because obviously I knew it was going to be hard the first couple days for him to adjust and everything. So I got him on Saturday and it's currently Monday. So um, he is an angel and I'm not just saying this. He goes to bed in his crate and doesn't make a sound until like maybe 6 a.m. or something and then I'll put him in my bed. He hasn't really been crying that much. He pees literally on his pad, which is crazy. He has had zero accidents except for pooping. He pooped on the carpet. Um, and then otherwise, he's been pooping like right next to his pad, but we're learning, right? We're learning. Otherwise, I've noticed um, that he's super attached to me. Like, even if he's with my mom or something and I walk away, he starts screaming and then he'll find me. So, he's clearly my bestest friend. But um, otherwise, he's very well adjusted. He gets really hyper and like is super comfortable and then he gets really tired like any other puppy. But I'm surprised how well adjusted he is already to the house and I've never seen a puppy like this, honestly. You know, I did an Instagram post the day I got him and I said like, in no way did I think I was gonna walk into an adoption center and get a dog today. And I got comments like, you should have really known. And, like a dog's a big responsibility and everything. And Again, like I said, I've been wanting a dog for a while and I actually did apply to him the night before. I just didn't think he was going to be there at that adoption thing. So for any of you out there that want a puppy, just know that it really is a baby. Like I have to plan when I go to bed to see when he goes to bed so that I can go to bed and he doesn't scream. And like when he's sleeping during the day, I know I can get my work done during that part of the day. Like it's really like having a baby. So having time, like I don't think if I worked or went to school, I'd be able to have a puppy, but... I work from home, so he needs to get two more rounds of shots before he can go out really and go on walks. I just ordered a bunch of new pet stuff. Um, I would love to hear your opinions on crate training, which is what I'm trying to do. 
I'm reading up a lot on how to train a puppy, watching a lot of videos and talking to a lot of people, but I want him to come with me everywhere. So like whatever job and when I teach and stuff, I want him to come eventually. So anyway, he looks so much bigger on camera, but he, look at my hand size, like he's tiny. He's a tiny little thing. This is my head. He's big as my head. Hey guys, I'm gonna sign off here. Welcome Lucky to the fam. Number one thing I want you guys to take away from this video is to always adopt, never shop, you guys. There's so many amazing animals out there that need homes, so please, please, please avoid breeders, avoid buying dogs. Adopt, adopt, adopt. It's the best thing. Dogs Without Borders, where I got him, is an amazing organization, so I would really recommend finding something near you. And also remember that puppies and dogs in general is a big responsibility. By getting him, I have agreed to take care of an animal for 15 years at least. Know what you're getting yourself into and just be responsible. It really is like a baby. Say goodbye. Bye. All right, we're biting now. That's great. Okay. Bye, guys.